What is gravity? Please join me on this journey further into the thoughts about unity. And as with every theory, you're very welcome to disprove it and save me some time. Now, where do we start looking for gravity? Isn't it everywhere? Our st journey starts on our blue planet and here we feel gravity every time. But we want to find out what is beyond. And to do so we travel away from Earth, out of our solar system, into our galaxy, the Milky Way. Here, every bright dot you see represents many solar systems. The diameter of the Milky Way is about 100,000 light years across and we are located approximately here, shown in this circle, which is already 1,000 light years across. Our galaxy then is nothing but a small bright dot on this map of superclusters. And now in another step further away from Earth, we see that even superclusters shrink to small dots on your screen when you're looking at our local universe. This is as far as we can see. From here, Earth is really small. But there's one quite special thing about it. Earth is exactly at the center of the universe. This universe is also called our cosmic horizon, a bubble as big as far we can see. Remember we are still asking what is gravity. In this cosmic horizon, two things awaken our interest. The first thing is dark matter. It is undetectable, but said to exist, gluing together large-scale superclusters and preventing matter from drifting apart. And the second is dark energy, also undetectable, but said to be the driving force for the universe's expansion. At this point, I'll use the so-called cosmic density pyramid as basis for further discussion. It shows the distribution of density in the universe, which is explained in the book The View from the Center of the Universe. According to our current paradigm, matter and also dark matter create gravity. Gravity then is the reason for space warp. On the other side, dark energy is said to create something that makes the universe expand. This current picture is missing two vital parts. First thing is what creates time and space and what creates matter itself. So let's start again, this time at the origin. Something creates matter and energy. It also creates space and time. All these, matter, energy, space and time, can't be separate. They all depend on each other. Then we come to gravity and ask, what creates it? As quite often, it isn't a specific answer that will help us to progress, but a better question. So we ask, what is first? Gravity or space warp? Next to the top part of the cosmic density pyramid, which represents matter, you see a 2D model of 3D band space. Our sun is in the middle of our solar system and it creates the most gravity, which equals the most space warp. Now forgetting about dark matter for a moment and plainly looking at the effect of dark matter on large scales, we see a similar space warp, but without matter. At this point, why shouldn't we assume that there is something invisible and undetectable causing this space warp? Isn't it more obvious that space can be warped with and without matter? That means the statement that mass creates gravity is not the whole story. If the universe is warped even without matter, then this would explain the effects for which dark matter was invented for but in a much more logical way. It explains why matter like galaxies in a galaxy cluster stay together and do not drift off. Imagine a large scale space warp without matter being warped like this. Our solar system, of course a lot smaller, shows similar space warp but with matter. Completing this, the puzzle, our solar system 
might be only a dent in a dent, like this. Same way, but in another scale, galaxies might be dense in a larger dent. If this would be true, there is no need for dark matter anymore. Let's go back to the density pyramid. We didn't look at the bottom part of the pyramid yet, dark energy. The effect we were trying to explain with dark energy is expansion. Following our argumentation, the only thing required for expansion is a reduction of space warp. This is like a blanket on your table with a lot of wrinkles in it that you straighten out. And we assume expansion might be a reduction of space warp. So back to our puzzle so we can complete the remainders. Space could be warped with or without matter, so matter doesn't create gravity but something else does. And now with this new understanding it is much more logical that space warp is a resulting force and gravity is just the quality of it. In the same way the characteristics of dark energy are just another quality of space warp. At this point the question of what creates gravity is not fully answered but it got somewhat secondary. Another more powerful question arises looking at the strong connection right here which is what is space?